What's up guys, it's the iPod Touch 511 here with another video. And in this video I'm going to show you how iCloud works when you download an app on one device and then how it goes over to one of your other devices. So, alright, so I have an app pulled up on my sister's iPod Touch second generation. But before we download that app, I'm going to show you how to enable this feature on the device that you want apps to be pushed to. So go under settings on your iOS device and then go to store. I'm going to cover up my email address once I go on to here. So let's go to store. And then there's um, two little switches for music and apps. You want to turn those on if you'd like your apps and music to be pushed to different devices. And this also includes free applications that you download on your other devices. So now I'm going to download an app on my sister's iPod Touch second generation and then we'll watch how it pushes to my iPod Touch. So I'm going to go ahead and install this. Hopefully it won't require my password. No, it doesn't. And then in just a second, it should start downloading on my iPod Touch. Flip over, and then there it is. As you can see, I didn't do a thing on my iPod. And even if my iPod was locked and not in use, it would still begin um, pushing this app I just downloaded on this iPod Touch over to this iPod Touch. So just like Apple says, you don't have to do a thing, it just works. Alright, so I guess that's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like the video down there, and subscribe to me somewhere up there. And also, you can follow me on Twitter, at the iPod Touch 511 and I will see you in the next video.